Hello, I'm Roger Sutton, Editor-in-Chief of the Hornbook, here to welcome you this evening. And last things first, those of you who are veterans of this event will know that when we finish in here with our speeches and congratulations, I need you to move quick like bunnies out that back door into there so that this room can be rearranged for autographing and so that you can meet the winners and honor book recipients. So do not dally when we are done here. Please move to the rear and you can come back in about 10 minutes after that. There are a few people here tonight that I would like you to meet. As you may know, the Horn Book in January was purchased from the Thomas Todd Company by Media Source Incorporated, a Columbus, Ohio based company. You probably know best through their Junior Library Guild, which is a book select, children's book selection and collection development service that provides services to more than 17,000 libraries across the country. And so I would like to introduce you to our new owners and my new bosses. President of the Hornbook, Randy Asmo. Randy, where are you? Please stand, he's back there. <laughs> Welcome, Randy. You might have seen him here last year quietly lurking because we were still in the midst of the deal and no one was saying anything but Randy was here to meet you. And I would also like you to meet the publisher of the Horn Book, Andrew Thorne, who is right here. <laughs> Andrew is filling the considerable shoes of Ann Quirk, who you might remember from last year. Um, we hope that he can do half as well as she did. Welcome, Andrew, and welcome, Randy. And coordinating events tonight at, this, uh, at the Boston Globe Horn Book Awards, Monica Higgins of the Athenaeum. Monica, where are you? Wave? She's working. There she is. She's back there drinking. Hi, Monica. And Rochelle Rupp is here from Media Source, our parent company in Ohio. Rochelle, stand and wave. She's over here. All these people. We'll have name tags on, and I hope you'll feel free to introduce yourselves afterward. And Katrina Hedin is up here in the balcony. Katrina coordinated things on our end here. Behind her is my beloved fiance, Richard. He's taking pictures. <laughs> I frequently receive emails from library school students, children's literature students, asking about the criteria for the Boston Globe Horn Book Award. And these criteria are blessedly brief. Any winning book must be published in this country, and any winning book must demonstrate excellence. After that, those of you who have served on some of the ALA committees, for example, might know that there's a whole list of the book must be, the book should be, the book will be, sorts of adjectives and commands that the judges have to go through. Here we have great trust in our judges. They get to determine what we mean by excellence. And I think our judges this year have done a really terrific job, and I'm going to introduce you to them now. Beginning things off for us in the picture book category will be Judge Ruth Nadelman Lynn, Ruth is the Children's Services Department Head of the Cary Memorial Library in Lexington. She is also the author of Fantasy Literature for Children and Young Adults, which is an indispensable reference book for any of you concerned with fantasy. Introducing the fiction winner and honor books is Jonathan Hunt. Jonathan is a school librarian in Modesto, California. He is a staff reviewer for the Horn Book Magazine and he is co-blogger, <coughs> excuse me, with Nina Lindsay of the Heavy Metal Blog, which is a blog sponsored by School, li school Library Journal where we, they, all start to assess the chances of what's going to win the Newbury and Caldecott. It's already gotten quite exciting over there, so you should go take a look. The chair of the committee this year is Alyssa Gershowitz. Alyssa is managing editor of the Horn Book Guide and she will handle the nonfiction honors. So without further ado, I'm gonna leave it to Ruth Nadelman Lynn to start things off. Thank you. 